This medication is used to treat growth failure, growth hormone deficiency, intestinal disorder, short bowel syndrome, and HIV-related weight loss or wasting. It is also used to increase height in children with certain disorders such as Noonan syndrome, Turner syndrome, and idiopathic short stature. The daily dosage and optimal timing for taking Zorbivil will depend on the individual specific condition and should be determined by a healthcare professional. Before you start using Zorbivil, make sure to read the patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist. If you have any questions, consult your doctor or pharmacist. Some brands of this medication are given by injection into a muscle or under the skin, while others may only be injected under the skin. The way you inject this medicine will depend on the brand that you are using. It is important to change the location of the injection site to avoid problem areas under the skin. For best results, this medication must be used exactly as prescribed by your doctor. The dosage is based on your age, weight, medical condition, and response to treatment. If you are giving this medication to yourself at home, learn all preparation and usage instructions from your healthcare professional. Do not shake while mixing the solution, as shaking makes the medication not work properly. Before using, check the product visually for particles or discoloration. If either is present, do not use the liquid. Learn how to store and discard medical supplies safely. If you are using a pen device, do not share it with another person, even if the needle is changed, as it may cause serious infection. If this medicine is used for short bowel syndrome, consult your doctor if a special diet or the use of nutritional supplements may be helpful. If this medicine is used for weight loss slash muscle wasting, it may take up to two weeks to notice the effects of the drug. Do not use more of this medication than prescribed or use it more often, as the risk of side effects will be increased. You may experience headache, nausea, vomiting, tiredness, muscle pain, or weakness while taking Zorbiv vial. If these symptoms persist, inform your doctor or pharmacist promptly. Remember that the benefit of taking this medication is greater than the risk of side effects for most people. Serious side effects are rare, but if you experience persistent nausea slash vomiting, a new limp, unusual tiredness, weight gain, cold intolerance, heart rate changes, ear pain slash itching, hearing problems, joint slash hip slash knee pain, numbness slash tingling, excessive thirst or urination, swelling, changes in moles, severe stomach slash abdominal pain, vision changes, seizures, or severe headaches, seek medical help immediately. Children with Prader-Willi syndrome may experience rare but serious lung slash breathing problems while taking this medication, especially those who are male, severely overweight, or have existing lung issues. Discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor, and be on the lookout for signs of breathing problems or lung infections. Additionally, somatropin may increase your risk of developing a tumor or cancer, so it's important to have a thorough discussion with your doctor about this risk. Lastly, while a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, seek medical help immediately if you notice symptoms such as rash, severe swelling, dizziness, or trouble breathing. If you experience any other effects not listed, contact your doctor or pharmacist. Remember to consult with your doctor for any concerns about side effects. Before using Zorbiv vial, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have, as this product may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions. It's also important to share your medical history, especially if you have adrenal gland problems, eye problems, recent major surgery or injury, breathing problems, diabetes, kidney disease, cancer, or thyroid problems. If you have diabetes, be sure to monitor your blood sugar regularly and inform your doctor of any changes. When using this medication for newborns, it's important to mix it with sterile water for injection that does not contain a preservative, as the preservative found in some brands can cause serious problems if given by injection to an infant during the first months of life. Before undergoing surgery, inform your doctor or dentist of all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. Older adults may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, especially effects on blood sugar and swelling ankles slash feet. If you are pregnant, only use this medication when clearly needed and discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It is also important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding, as it is unknown if this drug passes into breast milk. It's important to be aware that Zorbivil may interact with other medications, potentially affecting how they work and increasing the risk of serious side effects. 
Therefore, it's crucial to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your healthcare provider. This includes prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products. It's essential to follow your doctor's guidance and not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without their approval. Also, it's worth noting that somatropin, the active ingredient in Zorbivvel, is very similar to lanapexamotropin. So it's important not to use medications containing lanapexamotropin while using somatropin. Be sure to discuss any concerns or questions about potential drug interactions with your doctor or pharmacist. If someone has taken too much Zorbivvel and is experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help by calling 911 or contacting a poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include severe headache, severe nausea or vomiting, signs of low blood sugar, such as sudden sweating, shaking, confusion, and ongoing swelling of the hands and feet. It's crucial to seek medical attention if you or someone else is experiencing these symptoms after taking Zorbivvil. Remember not to share Zorbivvil with others. Your doctor may schedule regular medical tests, such as eye exams, thyroid function, glucose levels, and growth hormone antibody levels while you are using this medication. Make sure to keep all your medical and lab appointments, and consult your doctor for more details. Make sure to take Zorbivvel as directed by your doctor. If you happen to miss a dose, don't try to make up for it by taking a double dose. Instead, speak to your doctor or pharmacist to establish a new dosing schedule. Be sure to consult the product instructions and your pharmacist for specific storage details and keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. Do not flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. It's important to properly discard this product and it is expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for more information on the proper disposal of medications. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.